Yeah, no, quite. It is quite curious. Did I say McCready yesterday? Anyway, no, so much Judy. Yes, no, so much Judy. Part one, French agent. Pupas pare French agent. Pupas pare French agent. Pupas pare French agent. French agent. Pupas pare French agent. Pupas pare French agent. Well on, Jerry dance la quartier. No, Jerry promenade dance la quartier. Yes, and uh. Not as unjur no wager, satunuit no wager. Yep, okay. Palon Angles. Palon Angles. Looks like today it's a little bit dabby drabby day. That's not fun. That's not fun at all. Okay. Today we're going to talk a little bit about, not say finance, but investment pretty much investment wise because I don't think I have anything else and this is critical critical because I not say I but we got a few, I mean I got a few information on the pro not say product the NFT that I've been trying to get in and earn money unfortunately the game launches next month but also next month there might right I might get an opportunity to buy another NFT but it's thousand five hundred US dollars the question is actually I really want it because it's cheap, not say cheaper because previously okay previously we spent four okay remember we spent four point two or uh, four point uh, let's let's put this for yeah four point two thousand Canadian dollars that's about about three k yeah about three k so now I got a opportunity for one point five up yeah one point five k not yeah 1.5k and that's cheap and then if i manage to secure it for less than 3000 us dollars i might take the hit because that's that's no i i would try because on one end because uh when it was available last month the other price the average price was about 3005 ish and if i do make it i mean if i do make the list 1.5k I'll easily spend it that's that's easy easy peasy yeah no no it's a no-brainer in my opinion it's a no-brainer but of course if I'm unlucky that's the part I have to be careful because I can um, the the NFT went as high as ten thousand dollars right see you have to be careful when it hits up to ten thousand dollars and a lot of people knew that it can go that high chances are i might not be able to get it right even though it went to secondary sale because people would just dump five six thousand just like that which is tough for me in my opinion so yeah see if i'm lucky or not if yes great if not then too bad too bad i, I mean i can't i, I mean I don't fight money with money because I'm not in the position to do so. And if so, okay, let's let's put in a theory right now because this is very important. If let's say I can shell out five thousand, right? Example, five thousand. I think it's much profitable if I take that money and pay off my debt. That's for sure. That's for sure. And we are talking five thousand US dollars. Five thousand US dollars is actually half of my debt half of my student loan right so one of the numbers that i can put out is student loans uh, not mortgage i won't i won't say so much but yeah student loans i have, I have like what right, for in ringgit in uh, let's say no no need no need in ringgit 10 000, 12 11 11 000 us dollars in debt once i convert seems like a lot right no, it is a lot when you are in Malaysia, but since I'm in this part of this world, and yeah, it's so-so. One, two year of hard work and savings, easily I can pay off the, the load. Hard work and maximum savings. That's why we want to pay half ASAP and half before April, that's for sure. So we are in a good shape right? in terms of putting, oh yeah, no, I have to send money back to Malaysia. I've not done it this uh, 
yeah, no, I was supposed to send it, send it this month. I haven't done it for this month yet. So that's one small little conundrum that I'm going through right now. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we can do. So 5,000 is definitely out of the question. Even 3,000. 3,000, I would say, negotiable. Negotiable. Anything higher than that is no bueno. Right? No bueno. And that's it. That's all I have for you for today. Today is a short little vlog. Just talk a little bit about this and that's it. Also paid off my, uh, no, managed to call the insurance and cancel and everything. That's great. Uh, checked on how much I'm going to spend for this little fan expo. It's crazy. It's it's probably hit the ice for it. It hit $500 plus tax. That ain't fun. That ain't fun. I'm not going to lie, but we're going to do, no, we're going to catch up as much video as we can. And until then, je te very domain. <laughs>